Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a flip through and review for you of this book here, which is Apologies Exploring Creation with Health and Nutrition. So I recently had a child in grade nine complete this course and I wanted to give you a look at all the different components of it as well as our thoughts on it. I do apologize for the noise. <laughs> that is the chainsaw that's going. Um, every weekend right now is just cutting lots of wood so that's what you can hear right now. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and go through the different components and I'll come back here and share my thoughts on it. So here's what the textbook looks like. It is a hardcover book. It's quite thick. I think it's about 450 pages. And this is the first edition. So it's set up in the beginning, just like a lot of other apology courses. It talks about the extras. There's um, the audiobooks, instructional DVDs you can get, online academy. So a few different options there. The acknowledgements, the welcome letter, and then it goes into what it covers in the table of contents. So, who am I and why does health matter? Physical influences on thoughts and feelings. Mental and emotional stability. Interpersonal harmony. Treasuring your senses. Processing nourishment and hydration. Food science, macronutrients. Food science to micronutrients. Let's look at what you eat. Delivering the oxygen, let's move, you're stronger than you look, at war with infection, peace in difficult times, the gift of reproduction. So you can see that there are 15 modules is what they call them. And then in this book here, you're gonna find works cited, index and image sources. So here's some more information about the course. Apologia always has a code in their book. Sometimes it comes in the student book that you can go to this book extra and log your book and you get a whole bunch of extra things that are divided by chapter or by module. So here's a look at module one. So you can see it's kind of like divided up. Think about this, different figures. There's the main headings. There's the words in bold, the vocabulary. So I'll show you this page or this module rather. So it's telling you Lots of different information, um, things you can do on your own. And then there is consider a health profession. These are the answers to on your own questions. And then you move on to module two. So I'll just give you a quick flip through here. So there's the index and the, um, these are all the figures that are in there, the images. We're excited. So there isn't a whole lot of pictures and images in here. It is recommended for grades nine to 12, and I feel like it's kind of the right amount of pictures for that age. There's still some graphics, but it's not like the junior ones where there's a lot of pictures. So that is the main book. Now, this is the notebook journal that goes along with it, or the student notebook. So you don't have to have this to go along with the course, but I found it really did help. Everything's in here already set up, so I don't have to worry about anything. Again, it goes through the same instructional things. It talks about um, the different modules. This one includes some extra information. So what to expect? It talks about grading and rubrics, and there's a module project grade keeper. I didn't use that. I just have somewhere else I keep all his scores. And then here is the suggested daily schedule. So something you'll notice that's a little different about this one, and I don't know if it's because it is a first edition, but it's only three days a week. It's not four or five days like some of the other ones. And it is based on 34 weeks. And then you have, like this is the one that goes with module one. So there's lots of space for notes. There's questions, there's more questions, extras, there's projects. You can see all of this. The study guide. And then it goes into module two. So I'll give you a quick flip through of this. And um, the tests are in here as well. So all the tests are in the back here. 
where do they start? So here, there's the actual modules and what goes along with each one. Okay, then the last part is this here, which is the answer key. I was a little confused when I started this because I'm used to them having a separate answer key, but this one you actually have to go online to find, and then I just printed it out, and it has both the answers to the review questions for each module, and then it moves on to the answers for the tests at the back here. So I wish I had known I had to look online because that was a little confusing, but those are the three components that we used at least. There is more that you can get the video lessons, I believe, you can get the audiobook, but these are the three parts that we used for this course. Overall, I really like this course and I think my son enjoyed it as much as he could enjoy kind of a science course. I think it was interesting for him. I like the fact that Apologia really sets it up nicely with the book, the main book, the student journal, and then the answer key. It's very user-friendly for both student and for parent. I wish the schedule had been at least four days a week considering it is a high school course. I feel like three days is a little bit light. Um, again, it's that nine to 12 grades that it's recommended for. The other thing, well, two things. One, I like the how it covers you know, you've got your macronutrients, your micronutrients, the health part of it, but it also includes things like spiritual health, reproductive health, along with mental and emotional health. I think that's really important, especially in today's world. And so I like that they include that in there. I was looking at the publication date and um, it says 2018. So it's fairly recent and fairly up to date, which is good to know because health and science are always changing. I wish the modules had been not shorter. I wish that they had maybe had more modules and kind of divided it up a bit because when you do the module reviews, they were very, very long. I think probably 30 to 50 questions, but sometimes they have five, six, seven like answers or eight answers within each question and it's a lot of material. The other thing is that the tests are all multiple choice. And that's a little unusual, you know, there's pros and there's cons to that. Um, and again, I wish that they had just kind of made it more modules so the tests were a little bit more focused on a certain aspect and there were more tests but shorter tests. Hopefully that makes sense. Financially, um, it's, it's on the pricier side. Apologia tends to be like that. I got this one second hand. I lucked out and found a student book that was not used at all. And so that was helpful. I also have multiple children, so it makes it more affordable for us. I believe that there are extras. I don't know if they have an online course for this one, but I know they have like, um, I think the audiobook and stuff. So it can be more expensive. It can be less expensive. Kind of depends how you do it. But yeah, I feel like it's a good course. I will probably have at least one more of my children do it over the next few years, if not two or three of them. It just, it was interesting. Ty had um, to record his eating for a while. He had to do set exercises for a certain amount of time and record how he felt uh, when he was exercising and like afterwards. What other things did he do? He had to do something with career. He had to do something where he was asking um, people questions and opinions so it was a good course overall um, it made him learn a lot about things that I feel are really beneficial in your life not just like school learning that you're never going to use these are things he's actually going to use in his life hopefully I've given you a good look if you have any questions though or I've missed something please leave it in the comment section down below and I'll try and answer it for you otherwise though I hope this finds you having a great day take care